Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So starting off, I just wanted to say that my face makeup and my eye makeup is already done. Um, this is because I used the same makeup in my vampire tutorial. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, then I will leave the link to that tutorial in the description box below so you can go and check that out. So this tutorial today is pretty simple and quick. Um, you're only going to need three products for this. You're going to need a pencil eyeliner um, some type of paint, whether it's water activated, cream paint, um, alcohol activated, or even a gel eyeliner. And you're also going to need a, a black or grey eyeshadow. So starting off, I'm just outlining the shape of the mask with my pencil eyeliner. Um, and then I am re going, going over that then with the um, water activated face paint just to deepen and darken those lines. As for filling in the mask itself, I'm just using lots of different lines um, to create little sections and then I'm going in by filling in the sections with lots of little C's, uh, little swirls, little crossovers, little lines, um, all that kind of jazz. You can fill it in however you want. Then I decided that I didn't like the little middle bit of the mask so I just rubbed it out with a bit of with a baby wipe and a bit of foundation and I just redrew that with a more of a point um, because I felt it looked a bit better. Um, so you'll just see through this video you'll see me filling in all the different um, sections using the lots of different methods like I said the swirls the stripes and um, coloring some in and you'll also see a small clip at the end of the tutorial of me shading um, my camera cut out for some reason and it's testing my patience I think it's on its way out um, because it keeps stopping recording all the time and I'm losing lots of footage and it basically stopped and lost the footage of me shading all around it but I managed to save a little bit of it so like I said, you will see that at the end of the, t the tutorial. Also guys, it helps if you have a reference photo of a masquerade mask in front of you, just so you know what type of shape you want your mask and what kind of detailing you want on the inside of the mask. I had... Um, a reference folder in front of me and I was just changing little bits up as I went along but I just wanted it as a basic guide photo. And then after I filled in the mask, I felt like I wanted something more, so I started drawing these lines with some little circles at the end to give the illusion of like jewellery that was dangling from the mask. Um, so basically guys, that is it, that is the mask complete. If you want a more detailed look at my actual mask, you can head on over to my Instagram, which is at Laura Ann Makeup, and there's a few photos on there if you wanted to use my mask as a reference, um, a photo to go off. But after you've done that, guys, like I said, it's just the shading. I do show a small little clip of me doing that, just so you know what I mean. But like I said, after that, that is it complete. You could pop on um, a nice black dress or something, a nice lace headband, whatever you want to make this outfit complete and yeah then you are done so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys nice quick and simple one today um give me a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are not already and yeah I will see you in my next one so thanks so much for watching guys I'll see you soon bye